I watched, um, what did I watch? White Lotus, the full season, um, Eternals trailer, um, Star Wars Visions trailer, and something else. I don't remember. What did I watch? <laughs> uh, no, that's pretty much it. I haven't really had time to, like, fully watch something. Like, I've been watching old stuff. Like, I started How I Met Your Mother over. Uh, I've been watching Haiku, so I was like, <laughs> we watched nothing new, really. Um, I'm gonna watch the Hugh Jackman movie that just came out, and yeah, um, let's start with the <clears throat> what's the the White Lotus. Um, I think it's I think it's it's good overall. It's not what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be. It even starts out that way though. Um, eh, kind of. Uh, a murder mystery um uh and it did not turn out to be that way and well you it's, it's a, it starts off in the show the from the trailers it seemed like a murder mystery but the show starts off like a murder mystery and then as it builds up you start to forget the beginning of the episode and then you remember as you see the characters like unwinding with each other and it's like, oh, yeah, how do we get to this point? Who does this to this person? And once the, the big reveal finally happens, and it's like, uh, it, it just felt like a letdown. It felt like they really wanted to tell you the social commentary and more than it being a murder mystery. Um, because if they... Made all of this stuff tie into one big storyline versus different storylines that just so happen to be happening in this one hotel, pro vacation island property. Then, you know, I don't know. Like, I felt disappointed, but overall, it was good. There's going to be a season two with a whole new different cast. That's amazing. That's great. I hope a lot of shows start doing that. Um, but it's just. It, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be, but it wasn't bad at the same time. It's just, uh, I'm, uh, you know, you watch things to escape and you just don't expect to see real life issues with some stuff. And it wasn't like a overly preachy type of thing happening. But at the same time, it's not what I wanted to see when I watched the show. But it wasn't bad at the same like like it's weird like maybe that is what disappointment is like it wasn't bad it's just not what I wanted to see but yeah it wasn't bad um let's talk to Star Wars uh it looks good I've been heard about it um it's good to there's a trailer now and yeah it's an anthology series, and it's like Star Wars anime, which is an <laughs> incredible concept, to be honest. Um, but the thing is with me, though, personally, like if I get invested into a story, one episode isn't going to be good enough. Maybe not even two. Like I might need like four episodes. And anthology, I don't know if it's gonna be like one season is one thing or one episode is one thing and then every episode is a different story um like they're doing with a horror story which is what i hated the idea of it because they did this whole poll on twitter about it and then now we get this show that no one asks for <laughs> but um it's okay i hate the rubber woman Ugh. I hated it. I don't know. It's getting back on track. Sarah Paulson, Eric and Peters is coming back. So, and they're going to do like a two episode thing. So, it's it's going to be good. I'm excited for that. But, yeah. So, if I like it, I'm going to want more. And I don't know how they're doing it. Because it's all anime. And I didn't replay the trailer to notice if the styles were different. So if it's like gonna be a different episode, different story type of thing, which is just it's and also you telling the whole story in like twenty two minutes, that's just not enough for me. But <laughs> all right, 
Um, moving on. Eternals trailer. Now, I said before, and the first trailer came out. Um, I might have said it when I heard the casting. This is going to be my favorite Marvel movie. This is my favorite event so far. Like, this is going to be it for me. Like, the casting is top-notch. Um, even though they got Jolie in it, she's a big name, it, it feels right. Basically because of the character she's playing. Um, there's also a rumor that because uh, Thanos, is a, Thanos is an eternal, um, born with the deviant gene, the her and Angelina Jolie's character is related, but they might spin it to where like she's the parent or, or something like that. Just because you know MCU makes little subtle tweaks to make it fit a little bit better. So I think they're like cousins or something in the comics. But um I'm excited. And this one we got a full trailer. They even mentioned Thanos because I feel like they had pressure. <laughs> Why didn't they do anything? You know, like, because these <laughs> larger than everything beings that created the everything said no. And yeah, who goes against that? And they showed it, the Celestial. Terrifying. So terrifying. And like, we've seen like a few of them. I think, isn't Ego the planet one? And the head nowhere. Um... And Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, I watched What If. Oh, yeah, that just reminded me. So, like, we've seen them, but I don't think we've seen them alive in this type of manner. You know, maybe was it Thor 2? But that felt a little bit... You didn't get the scope of how big these were. Um, was that Thor 2? When they used the purple... The, the, the purple power. <laughs> I feel like they, the purple power just fits right now. Um, but yeah, this looks so good. Like, it looks so good. It looks so good. And now that I remember, I want to talk about what if. Um, I didn't expect them to play the Chadwick Boseman episode so early. Um, maybe that was a change because the Sarah Carter got so much blowback. But... I did not expect them to play it this early. They might as well just play it in the first episode. It, dude, it was so good. Like, it was so good. It's crazy how um you you can tell that it's the real characters voicing their characters, their Marvel characters. It's the real actors voicing the Marvel character. There you go. But like some people sound so different in the voice, but if you saw them speaking, it's totally different. But their voice is so like different from what they look like i guess but um it was everybody everybody was there like it was crazy like I, it didn't sound like benicio del toro but it was benicio um his story is basically the ravengers picked him up but he kind of was willing to go and because of just what t'challa is as a person he ended up being good whereas peter quill was a little bit more so he took on the more selfish side of it um so he he really was saving the galaxy <laughs> before there was guardians um and they, it just fit it fit so well and the guardian was uh the collector was basically like the mob boss of the entire galaxy <laughs> Oh man, Nebula was in it. Um, Thanos was a Ravenger, and it's like, okay, sure. <laughs> um, Josh Brolin did the voice. Like, ah, oh, it was so good, dude. They had they had enough for every fan to be satisfied. Like, it was so good, man, and it just made me be more pissed off because then you know it was changes. And they didn't just cut and paste what Peter Quill did. They actually took time and made it make sense. Like, that's something T'Challa would do. Like, he would help people. And that's just who he was as a person because he was raised that way. It's just how he is, period. He wanted to help people in the galaxy. And he had the means to help people in the galaxy. But also, he was stealing stuff, you know? 
<laughs> he was stealing stuff. He was fighting people, you know? And it just makes sense, the changes they did. And they changed. You know, that's still a risk within itself to have the collector be the big bad. Literally, this dude is Jack Swole. He's the big bad, you know? And to have Nebula with the hair, the blonde, streaky hair. And she's the classic Nebula doing a, a double cross, triple cross. And it just makes sense. And then you see Peggy Carter, and it's literally just Captain America 1. There's no changes, except she's just now inserted into it. And then we got some uh, women can't do that type of banter. And then that's really it. It's literally Captain America First Avenger. But with Peggy Carter. And then they threw in the Iron Man suit. Like 50, like what, 70 years early. Just to like give us something extra. Just to have Steve around. <sighs> because they thought it was going to be blowbacks. So they just wanted to give us Steve anyway. <sighs> the child episode of What If was amazing. Chadwick Boseman episode of What If was amazing. Uh, rest in peace, man. That do for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back. Yeah, the Hugh Jackman movie.